So, welcome to Keep Productive with ClickUp. My name is Francesco. Today we're going to share our spaces and how to customize them a little bit further, how they work in the grand scheme of things with your ClickUp account. So, one of the things that you'll need to know is that ClickUp has a hierarchy. And essentially in the hierarchy, it starts with a workspace, moves down to spaces, and then allows you to create lists as almost projects as part of your ClickUp experience. And you can actually folderize your lists so that they belong to a specific folder, which is perfect for nested folders. And you can even make tasks and subtasks inside of each of the lists you create. So this structure really helps to break down specific areas that you're working on in ClickUp and really give you and your team a bit more detail and structure. So what I wanna show you is how you can customize those spaces a little bit further. Obviously one thing you have on this left hand side is the ability to create a new space. I'm inside of a workspace at the moment. So I can go ahead and create a new space. I can create lists tasks, subtasks, and nested tasks. So what I can do is see that I'm part of my work uh, workspace, but I can go into settings and I can go over to spaces. Now, as you can see, I've got these spaces as part of my account. I've got one called the Benso method, one called work, one called family. And what I can do is have a few things allocated to them. I can choose who the owner is because I'm an administrator. I can choose who I share them with and whether I make them public. I can change and modify the statuses allocated to them. So statuses are, are quite important when it comes to workflow. So I might want to choose something like a Kanban one. Well, I can basically save that to that workspace and task statuses just help you to keep on track with what you're working on. So it can have a space um, a different task status per one, which is helpful for customization. I can create a new template, or I can use some of the ones like Scrum, which might be helpful for those who are working in with a Scrum team. So you can see I've allocated Scrum here. Now, I wanna show you the Click Apps as part of this. Click Apps essentially are ways for you to take your account that step further. And what they do is they allow you to get powers inside of each of the spaces and lists that you work in. So in this case, I've only allocated tags, time tracking and time estimates, but I can add a range of click apps. And if I want to turn them all on, I can have them all activated. And that includes the likes of sprints, emails, sprint points, incomplete warnings, dependency warnings. All of them can be turned on, all of them can be turned off, or you can choose specific allocations for how you and your team want to work. You might not need all of these apps, so that's why you can really customize it down to the level that is important for you and your team. The same goes for views. Views, you can see here that I can have specific views allocated. I could have a calendar view on the go, switch it on, map view, mind map view, whatever you find most suitable for you and your team. And you can even have default view templates as well, so that when you get started with a new list, it allocates to one that you regularly use, like a marketing spreadsheet or something like that. So the real detail and customization in spaces is really, really helpful. Up here, you can create a new space and add all of those regular modifications to it, or you can just continue to change things that are existing in your account. Now you can also see archive spaces and delete them permanently or restore them and see inaccessible spaces as well, which is based on private spaces that you might not have full access to. So that's how to go about modifying and customizing spaces inside of your ClickUp account. I'd recommend checking out the hierarchy just so you're aware of it before you begin. But if you wanted to download ClickUp and get started, you'll find the link in the description below. Thank you very much for stopping by today, folks. And I look forward to you joining us here again on Keep Productive with ClickUp. Thank you very much all, and I'll see you soon.